reluctant reader at home or maybe you need a little dose of puppy love, this is the story for you. I got to meet a very furry friend who might just be one of the most popular pups at the library. Seven-year-old Ollie Cassani is reading to another Ollie, a trained and registered therapy dog. I think, you know, there's no judgment with a dog. This pup is one of several that come to Williston's Dorothy Allen Memorial Library every week. Its Read to a Dog program partners with the group Therapy Dogs of Vermont to get kids interested in books. When I read a different story, I don't know what it's going to be like. Like, it's going to be exciting. But Ollie's mom says he wasn't always excited about reading. We've heard about Ollie the dog at our Wellston library here for for quite a while. And because Ollie and Ollie have the same name, and um, we're really trying to encourage Ollie to start reading, and or not start reading, but um, embrace reading, I should say. She says letting him pick his own books and reading to the dog is really bringing him out of his shell. Uh, my favorite part was going into the room because I thought I wouldn't really like it as much. But once he got here and um, saw the dog, he kind of tuned out everything else that was going on and got to it. Library staff say the program is popular with readers of all ages, and it works. It's really shown to be very effective, and we've had kids that have come back, and, they're, and they've really, their reading's improved a lot. The kids just love reading to dogs. I mean, it really isn't even a hard thing to sell. Ollie reading to Ollie, encouraging both literacy and keeping an open mind. It's very fun. You might try it this time. You might like it. You might not. Just try it. And library staff say if you happen to be more of a cat person, that's okay. They're working on a weekly read to a cat program as well. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.